Is your computer running out of storage or are you worried about losing all of your data that you've collected? As graduate students, we tend to collect or need access to a lot of data, whether that's our own files for manuscripts, writing papers, or actual instrument data or survey data that we've collected. And so it is really important to have a plan for how are you going to store and be able to access this data. And that is where external hard drives come into play. If you don't know me, I am Dr. Lana Reister. I got my PhD in chemistry, and now I make videos on this channel to help you be more efficient in your research. Now, when I was in grad school, I actually had a ton of external hard drives that was provided by my professor. And I wish that all professors did this, but I know that they don't. And even so, we weren't allowed to keep our personal documents on those hard drives. They were meant for the data coming off the instrument. So I also had my own personal hard drives as well. For a while, the only type of hard drive I had was these WD Elements, or this one is actually an easy store version. And I'll have a link to um, these hard drives down below if you're interested in them. And so these are your typical hard drives. They are cheaper um, and they work really well. They have really good capacity. This specifically is a five terabyte one. And this is what I used for both my instrument data and my like personal files as well in grad school. Until one day I went to plug one of these in and it had become corrupted. I had lost all of the data that was on my hard drive. From that, I learned that while these are great and they are the cheaper option, they're actually not meant to be a rugged hard drive. They're not meant to be constantly being in your book bag or being thrown around, even like setting your book bag down on the floor. All of those things can actually cause them to become corrupted and can cause them to lose their data. So from then, I actually went and got what's called a solid state drive. So this is a smaller, this is a 500 gigabyte solid state SanDisk hard drive. And this was the hard drive that I started to use, but they're so much more expensive. And especially being on a grad student budget, I couldn't afford to get a one terabyte or even a five terabyte version of this hard drive. So the option that I ended up coming up with is this became my hard drive for files that I wanted to access on the go. This could just easily be thrown into my book bag. It was going to be fine if I set it down going to the library or coffee shops or going into the lab, um, any of those things. It was fine to use this kind of hard drive. I know it was going to keep my data well. And then I keep this in my office. It doesn't leave my office. I don't move it around all the place. It just stays in my office so that it's not being thrown around. It's not hitting other things. I'm not dropping it. None of those things are a concern with this type of hard drive. And because it's so much cheaper, I can then kind of have an archive so that data that I don't need access to right now, but I do need to keep, I can have on this hard drive. And then the data that I need access to right now goes on my SSD drive. And then once I'm done with it, I just simply move it over to this hard drive. So that is overall how I use my hard drives and how to keep your data being lost. I think it's always good to also potentially have a further backup solution either to the cloud or to if you have a group that has a massive hard drive that you can then transfer data onto as well. Those are all good options so that you always keep a backup of your data because you worked so hard to get it. If you are ready to turn your data into a scientific paper, you can download my scientific research paper checklist. It'll be available in the link in the description below. And check out this video if you want to learn about the best laptops for grad students as well. If you found this helpful, click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want more information on how to be more efficient in your research. I hope to see you in the next video.